hello greetings to all uh, okay that's the value for the discussion for the bask take home task okay first let's start with uh, a demo for the project okay firstly the project loads random styles that's generated on the server on each server load so we can see here the themes are changing for the color and the user can choose the color from the palette here uh, but his preference for light or dark mode is saved so we can see that his preference for light or dark mode can be saved but the preference for the color is not saved as it's generated randomly on each server load as required here we have a nav bar with a themes customizer and an avatar for the user also we have a side nav bar that we can toggle it we have links that we can choose from uh, but now there are dummy links just for the sake of good UI. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have. We have here cards show analytics for uh, total uh, revenue, total top products, highest user engagement, highest location activity. Also, the uh, data is real time, it's fetched for, for every five seconds. Uh, here we have the customizable layout where the user can resize the chart sites as well as the tables. Uh, here can select uh, columns to display or uh, or on display it. so here we can make the user disappear all the amount uh, okay while filtering we can filter using the username we can sort for each column uh, that's also applies for the top product table Okay, uh, let's switch for the last part, which is the uh, uh, maps, where we can show the activities at each country, and the user can zoom, see, for example, if you see for uh, this country, uh, okay, uh, let's see the responsiveness, so here, uh, it's totally responsive. Uh, as the case of my view, the side nav bar becomes a side drawer, like that. Okay, you can see, uh, and the table become scrollable horizontally and vertically, of course. And at least we got the maps here. Uh, let's see for the uh, size of iPad. So the same thing applies here. So it's totally responsive for any size. Okay, now let's take a look at the documentation or the readme file uh, alongside with the source code. Okay, uh, that's the link for the deployed website on uh, Universal. That's a screenshot for the website. Okay, here's the text stack we're using is Next.js, React Query, Tailwind, ChatCN, all of that. This is a uh, icons library and this is the library for the maps okay uh, let's talk about the features we have real-time fetching which is for every five seconds and data hydration using react query where we hydrate and using prefetching and hydration for the uh, uh, data uh, real-time data uh, so it will be loaded on the server to enhance the performance uh, also we're using uh, several components uh, extensively so that we can enhance also the performance and user experience okay we have the loading and error states using the uh, the next.js file conventions for loading error and not found uh, okay let's see that okay. okay for example if we have loading if it take a bit amount of time so show the loading screen uh, let's see if we have an error. It will show an error page. There is an error thrown. Okay, uh, that appears because we are on uh, uh, development mode. Okay, we try again. It should to uh, redirect to the home page, but the error is still there, so it won't redirect. Here is the loading, and uh, these components are been loading this folder. So the spinner and the loading. Okay, uh, let's turn back to our loading. Also, we have the error page. 
which is reset uh, function for the try again let's see the not found okay this is not found we ask to return to home okay let's see what else we have here okay we have uh, sim customization customizable layout as we can resize the charts and tables uh, totally responsive design error handling and type safety as we use typescript and some types here we have custom types that's for the fi response uh, the dashboard data uh, each short data we have types for all of them uh, the same types they are light and dark mode and the same colors is the type of the same colors array which is found in our constant in the global folder where we have the colors like that and these as cons to be defined as uh, literal types because if we don't have as cons it will be just a string type okay let's turn back okay the user join okay the user they land on the dashboard can customize the layout as we see here uh, what else? Uh, he can change the theme, interact with data. Here's the interaction. You can see the labels. You can interact and see also the four sessions here. Interact with the table as well as the maps. Okay, you can explore the map with the responsive design. Okay, that's a bit of the same thing. Talking about how the Technologies are used uh, along with the components and layout. Okay, the components and layout we have the horizontal navbar and the sidebar. We can inspect each of them. So let's go here for the components. We have the layout, which have the sidebar and the navbar and footer. Here we have the footer, which is we can see here. Uh, also the navbar. Uh, it has the same customizer and the avatar that is shown. Uh, and the side sheet. It, it appears add the small or mobile view which can appear here as a drawer that can expand okay uh, what else you can see the side nav bar it has a side sheet which is as we can see here also the sidebar content which can be uh, in the sheet or in the sidebar itself it is a content so it can be reusable but uh, we use it as a side nav bar or the sheet Okay, the sidebar itself, which has the content, and uh, that left, uh, that left open and closed panel, is which we can see right here. It is related to the side navbar, but is overlapped over the navbar, and the navbar takes here the padding to show that button, so that the button is related to the side navbar and it holds its state in the side navbar itself. So the toggling is not uh, coupled with the navbar; it is coupled with uh, with the uh, sidebar itself, so we can see that we have cohesive design here. Okay, the nav link itself, uh, it can see where we can apply the active classes and the basic classes here. Uh, we are validating on the pass. Uh, okay, we got the nav bar as a separate component so that it can be a client component and utilize the server component here and pass it for the side nav bar. Uh, here, the side number content as a side number content itself is a server component. Okay, uh, here we discuss those two is the main area and the resizability. We can see it here in our chart components. Okay, here we can have uh, the handling for the wide view and the narrow view. Okay, here for the wide view, we can use uh, the resizable group and we have the Default size and minimum size for each of the charts that we have the minimum and maximum. The same applies for the tables. And at the narrow view or mobile view, we omit that resizing as they are all uh, uh, layouted in column view, so they are vertically aligned. So there is no need for the resizable panel. Okay, what else? Uh, you can see here the main content have the cards, sport, and shorts, tables, and map, which has are those four parts one, two, three, and four. Uh, okay, you can see that there are on in the dashboard main content here. We each here have got the data. Okay, we can see where the data made. We can 
navigate here to the dashboard layout it has a side uh, sidebar the navbar and the main content okay here in the page we're using uh, the prehydration so we're using the query client with the stale time to prevent the, the refetching on client mountation uh, okay the prefetch query to hydrate the data so we wrap the dashboard content with the hydration boundary and get the query client with with the hydrated data uh, so that the data will be hydrated as a dash as the dashboard content and it will be retrieved here and uh, it will refetch every five seconds okay we handle the loading state and the error state here uh, if there is no data foundation uh, finally we get the dashboard data and pass it for uh, these four components for each for displaying the needed data okay what else okay we have an environment variable which is an api key okay let's go to the folder structure here we have the app component with the layout loading error and icon for the icon up here uh, okay the, the dashboard has the layout and page okay here at the app level we we're not having a page because we need the main page will be the dashboard so if we you remove the, the section it will be redirected to the dashboard we can see here that in our configuration uh, where the redirects if we navigate to the uh, slash to navigate to slash dashboard okay uh, then we get the assets we got some images here for the uh, for the website components get the layout sidebar the charts, the tables, the shared components. We have the the placeholder and the placeholder with the spinner component, the loading placeholder. The UI components, which are shared CM components and the components that are built. Uh, the custom types, the globals, the utils. We have utilities functions and actions for server action. And that's for the different themes. So let's uh, inspect these two. We can see here the server actions. Okay. Uh, here we got one for fetching the data, the dashboard data, and the other for get random sim color, uh, which we're using here to get random colors, which is best for the HTML. Okay, what else? In the link folder, we have the utilities, the React Query Provider, it's a chart utilities to extract data, uh, the formatters, which format the the date and get here and format the date with commas. Okay, the utilities folder we have the set app C and the uh, functionalities for combining tailwind classes. Okay, I think that's all, and I hope it will be opportunity for me to join you.